Classic TV fans, Rick Nanji here. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about The Lucy Show, more specifically about an episode from the fifth season of The Lucy Show. I'll talk about it in just a little bit, but before I do, I want to let you know that I am doing a giveaway. A giveaway so that you can receive every single episode of season four of The Lucy Show. I think it is a great thing to be able to receive all of these for the lucky winner. How do you win? Well, it's absolutely free. If you watch the entire video, I give you simple instructions on how to do so. As I mentioned, it is a wonderful opportunity for you to win something cool. There are winners all the time, and so don't forget to participate. It's absolutely free. Now, some of you may or may not know the episode. It's the 113th episode from season five. It's called Lucy the Bean Queen. Now, it was a very interesting episode, if I do say so myself. It was released September 26, 1966, and there was just something really zany about it, something that I really liked. The concept was very simple, if you think about it, and you have Lucy being very cunning, very smart, and very honest by the end of the episode. But I'm going to talk about the stunt that she pulled while she was on the forklift. But let me talk about what the episode was about. Now, Lucy wants new apartment furniture. We've heard this before many times on I Love Lucy. So this concept was recycled into the show. But it's a little different. She has no husband here. And so the man who was essentially... Uh, in charge of her money was Mr. Mooney. He was the one in charge of the bank, and so he was the only one who could lend her the money. Now, she needed $1,500 at the time for the furniture. If you convert that to 2020 valuation, that comes out to $13,600. Now, she saw an advertising for this specific product. It was called Bailey's Baked Beans. Now, Colonel Bailey was played by Egg Begley, in this and a lot of people really love to see him here now this advertising said that these beans are the best you will ever eat in fact they guarantee that you will get double your monies back if you aren't satisfied if they aren't the best beans you've ever tasted so lucy gets a plan and she thinks along with Mary Jane Croft, who played Mary Jane, uh, she played um, on I Love Lucy, a few different characters, Sylvia Collins, she was the woman on the plane with the cheese, as well as later Betty Ramsey. Now they both are scheming and they go about LA buying these cases of beans and then returning them. And this is why they would receive double their money. Lucy kept doing this over and over, and you can even see a really cool scene in her apartment where her furniture is completely gone, and there's just boxes and boxes of beans. Now, she says that there's about 3,000 boxes in there. Yes, there are a lot of boxes, as you can see, but I don't know if there are exactly 3,000 in there. We'll just let that slide, but I'll show you this really cool scene in which she makes a couch, and she just lies on the beans, and even Mary Jane participates in that. Well, that's a good question. <laughs> well, let's see now. I think our warehouse needs a woman's touch. Isn't that really cool? Like, it's a really simple concept, but I feel like an episode like this is just very simple. It was a calm episode. It made sense. 
and it was just very innocent. There wasn't anything crazy about it. And remember, this was 1966. I mean, there's some things that are already risque on TV, but I, I really admire Lucille Ball that she kept her cool and she kept with her concept of putting nothing filthy in her show. It was just really interesting and fun concepts. Now, this episode was great for many reasons, as I mentioned, because we had the actor Ed Begley in this, as well as the idea of Lucy's character being very smart, clever, she was conniving, but she was not stupid. In other episodes of The Lucy Show, she was a dumb redhead, basically. And that was not what was happening on I Love Lucy. Of course, she was playing a different type of woman, but a lot of people didn't like that she was playing the quote-unquote stupid character here, the dumb dumb. And not here, not here. She's very smart, she's very crafty. But also we should add that what made the episode great is that she refused at the end the refund check because when she actually did try the beans, she realized that they were better than her mother's. And it reinforced the idea that Lucy was in fact a person with morals and values. And she really made a mistake. She kind of admitted that she wasn't supposed to do this, she wasn't fair. And in the end, she got rewarded for that. Now, what many of you might not know was that Lucille Ball really, really had a time together with this forklift. I'll show you this forklift scene in just a little bit. It's probably the best scene in the whole episode. Now, if you know Lucille Ball, you know that she was obsessed with rehearsing. I mean, obsessed could be the wrong word. She really was a professional and was dedicated to her career to her craft. She did everything possible to make the scene when it was shot in front of the live audience and it was put on film. She wanted to make sure it came out perfectly the first time. She did not like retake. She wanted it perfect the first time, almost like a theater play. You can't just say cut in a theater play and then start again. No, she wanted to run it straight through. So what she did, she spent hours and hours and just days throughout the rehearsal time working on this forklift choreography. She wanted to make sure that she could lift it up herself, that she could lower it when she needed to, that she can back up, that she can go forward, she can make the spins. And it's not an easy thing to do, so she had to be trained, she had to practice it a lot of times. And not only that, this wasn't like a prop. This wasn't something that was fake, that a stagehand was moving behind. She was actually driving this. She was actually doing all the movements. And so that's why I wanna show you the scene and how well it came out. I wanna know your thoughts down below. Let's take a look at the scene. The amount. Uh, I do have a few more cans outside. Oh? Yes, you just make it out to Lucille Carmichael. Lucille Carmichael. Now that was two L's. Two L's. Yeah. Lucille Carmichael. What is this? Well, now the rest of them are outside, Colonel. All together, I have 3,000 cans. You just make that check out for $1,500. $1,500? $3,000 $1, $1, cans? Isn't that so cool? Lucille Ball essentially making turns on a proverbial dime. She was perfect. Now, I really want to know, have you, you seen this episode? What do you think about it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? You should probably watch it. I'm happy that I was able to show you some scenes here, but I really want to know your thoughts down below. But before I finish the video, I know a lot of you want to know how to win the season four DVD set of The Lucy Show. It's very simple. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button. If you've done it before, you're set. If you haven't, make sure to hit that red subscribe button. Second, hit that thumbs up button. And thirdly, there's a link in the description. Click on the link and just provide just some simple information so that when I pick the winner, I know how to contact you. That's it. Nothing else for this giveaway. I'm changing it up just a little bit. Good luck to everyone. I will announce the winner in the YouTube community page. Always stay positive, everyone. Always better yourself. And as I always say at the end of every single video of mine, be hopeful. Thank you so much to my supporters on Patreon, especially my diamond tier patrons. New patron Gerard D, David D, Citizen Kane 359, Greg S, Kevin K, Ricky, Sally, 
and Vito L. Make sure to check the links in the description to see how you could be on this list as well.